Hey guys, welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Casey. So I want to send a big thank you out to Gillum Farms for the invite for being in the hashtag Wild Game November collaboration. This one is going to be so neat. It's going to have so many recipes for you to be able to enjoy. I have a list down below of all the collaborators. I have the playlist link as well as the link to the host channel, Gillum Farms. So go check everyone out. Make sure you follow the calendar and go see all the videos and let's hop to it. So for my video, we are going to be using wild game called deer here in the south or some people like to call it venison. So the way we make our deer is we process it ourselves and we do a mixture of 70% deer to 30% beef fat. Now we call our local butcher and we get the beef fat from them. So we grind it all together. We do a double grind usually to get it all mixed up together. And then this is how we store our deer, mostly in ground meat. My dad keeps the Oren meats and makes specialty meats and things out of those that sometimes we're scared to eat because we don't know what's in it. But today's recipe is called for ground deer. And we are going to be making what's called AKA beef stroganoff. So we're doing deer stroganoff today. So firstly, we are going to start off by taking two tablespoons of butter and melting it in our pan. We're going to add to it one onion that's diced up to your liking and also about 10 to 12 ounces of mushrooms. We're going to saute this all up together and as it becomes translucent and cooked down we're going to add in about six minced garlic cloves. We're going to saute this about 30 seconds or so and then we're going to add into it a cup and a half of beef broth. 
we're just going to stir it around till everything gets well and incorporated now here you can do one of two things you can use a can about 10 ounces of cream of mushroom condensed soup or you can add in your own dry mix of condensed soup now the recipe that i'm originally following calls for one can of cream of mushroom soup and a quarter cup of flour now i'm going to do one equivalent scoop to one can of my own dry mix and i'll put a link above to it for a cream of anything soup We're also going to add in about one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, four ounces of cream cheese, and you can cut these into cubes if you would like. It's best to add it in at room temperature. Now the original recipe also calls for one cup of sour cream. You can either use that or you can use one cup of heavy whipping cream. Either way, it doesn't really matter because you're going to allow this to cook down just a little bit. And any kind of seasonings. Now, if you want this a little more spicy, you can add in some red pepper flakes. I'm just going to do basic salt and pepper. And also about a quarter cup of ketchup. Now, that can be omitted if you don't want to add ketchup in it. There's a lot of recipes that call for it and some that doesn't. I'll leave that option up to you. Now while this is cooking down, we're gonna continue to stir it, allow it to thicken up a little bit, and then we're gonna start on getting our noodles cooked. So what I'm using is, it's kind of a mixture of egg noodles and a rigatoni noodle, um, just because I didn't have enough of either to put into it, so I'm just gonna do a mixture of noodles. We're gonna cook these till about 80%. And then we're going to put them into the sauce and get it all stirred up. Now we're also going to add in a pound of your ground meat. Or you can actually use chunk meat, like chunk stew meat. Just go ahead and pre-cook that as well. So we're going to add all of this together. I'll also add in, before I put in the noodles and meat, that my family doesn't like chunky crunchy vegetables so what I like to do with the onions and mushrooms that's in the cream sauce is I will go ahead and immersion blend them together before I add anything else and that way it becomes a creamy sauce to where we still have the flavor of those vegetables and the nutrition of the vegetables that are in the recipe but we don't have the chunky chewy kind of crispy textures and flavors that we're not so fond of So I want to send a big thank you out to Gillen Farms. Thank you to inviting me to this collaboration for Wild Game November. I hope everybody enjoys this recipe. Don't forget I'll have it typed out below if you want to screenshot it or if you want to copy paste it and print it out. I'll also have Gillen Farms YouTube channel link, the playlist link, and a schedule of everybody that was invited to attend. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you give it a try. Leave a comment down below because you never know what's going to happen. And we will see you guys later. Bye.